feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. I'm, today I'm going to get ready for my potato tomato grafts. And this is where I pre do the buckets. Uh, first thing I do is I take some, uh, this is kind of a topsoil clay mix. Uh, I put that at the bottom uh, so that it's got good, you know, weight on it. These are, these are three and five gallon buckets. Uh, five gallon buckets, I'll just put more potatoes. Uh, the reason I put more weight on the bottom because the tomato is going to get pretty big and be pretty heavy and, and want to top over the plant. So I want to give it a little bit of stability down there at the bottom. Uh, I put about a, a half inch to one inch layer of uh, fine sand. And I can't really show you with one hand, but there's some that I've already done. And it's not very deep in there at all. And it's just for a little bit of extra drainage of the potatoes. Uh, I, I like uh, to use the fingerling potatoes, the golden potatoes. Uh, they usually work the best. And you can see I put about five in a pot. Let me show you this one. It's in there. There's a fingerling right there. And, and smaller golden seed potatoes. Okay. I got all of them laid out in there. Next step, I'm going to get some compost now, and when I'm putting the, the compost and the worm castings in there, I'm not going to cover these up too much because this has to be a gradual thing. As they grow, and you need them to grow evenly, you just add more dirt and you water them in so that they're stable. I'm going to need a little more than that. I'll let you watch. I'm just going to put a few inches of dirt on there. Give them a chance to climb up through there. There we go. Now I'm going to water these in and add just a little more dirt. Because, you know, some of them are barely sticking out of there. Now fill them in, <clears throat> and then about eight to ten days, these will all be up about this high, and I'll fill in the rest, uh, put some more dirt in there, and then they'll be ready to graft. There we go. And a really flood there. And then all the dirt will settle down and tighten up around our little potatoes. Water them in a good few times, and they really don't need any extra dirt. They kind of settled around the plants, and I'm not going to disturb them for a few days. So again, let's recap. We put the clay down there for for extra weight. You could use gravel or rocks for you know for good good drainage. Uh, yeah, I put a little bit of sand to put the potatoes on so that the water doesn't sit on the potatoes <clears throat> and get rid of them. Uh, and then I put the potatoes in there and then put the compost worm worm castings and the pure light on there 
and I watered them in real good. And then in eight to ten more days, I'm going to fill up these buckets to about right there, to about an inch below the rim. And then they'll be ready to graft. And I'll make another video for you. Alright guys. Ani, Ove, Ocha. Means I love you in the way you meant for me to live. Is what I strive to do every day. As I live off the land. Leave me at your pace. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady.